Hi everyone, I would like to show you an in-depth look at all the traditional bows we have currently in the game. Hope you enjoy. Alright, here we have the heavy recurve bow. Here it is in third person here. Very nice. It is a very nice looking bow. Got a nice wood texture going up there on the top there. But the bottom doesn't really have that. Alright, let's aim down the sights here. Oop, need to bring it down a bit. My weapon skills swaying it all over the place. <laughs> Since I just got it, this level 1 shooting skill for me. There we go. Looks quite good. Alright, let's have a, a few shots with it now. A nice little sound effect there with drawing the bow and then pulling it back. There we go. See, all right, now let's have a shot 10 meters. Eight points. Yep, weapon skill failing me. <laughs> so I want you guys to take pay attention to where I was aiming there. So see, I think the wind's blowing it off a bit, but as long as I'm hitting the target, you get a general idea on where I'm aiming. So there you go, 20 meters. I had to put the arrow bar pretty much or well, the arrow tip pretty much exactly on 20 meters there. So that's the difference. With the normal recurve, it's actually 30 meters. Let's have a go with this now. Yeah, again, pay attention to where I'm aiming. Yeah, the wind's blowing it off, so the wind is not in my favour at the moment, but I definitely did hit that, as you can see in the bottom right there. Yeah, see, the wind blew it off to the left very a lot there. So it would have been a perfect bullseye if there was no wind, though, but that's what you get with shooting the traditional bows. They do get quite affected by the wind a lot. So that's the difference, guys. 30 metres, you do have to put your arrow barb or the arrow tip with the normal recurve at 30 metres. But with the heavy recurve, you have to do it at just 20. So that's what I don't really like about the recurves. And plus, with the whole fact that with the arrow barb, it's very, very easy to aim at 20, 25 meters. You just basically shoot to the right of that little white arrow barb there, and then you're pretty much right on target, so... Yeah, it takes the whole instinctive shooting out of it for me, so I don't really like them. Alright, so you noticed how t 20 and 30 meters, you have to put your arrow head or arrow tip basically on the target, right? That's very important. That's the, that's the thing that I want to address here. Now, for these bows, you'll notice it's much different. Still a bit higher there. Yep, I felt that low, yeah. So as long as I hit it, that's the main thing again. Alright, so as you saw there, that was a huge difference to the recurves, right? Now, let's go let's go off the cable back now. Yeah. 
still aiming high. That's because I've just shot the recurves. Have to adjust again to these. And there we go. 10 points on 40. So that's perfect. So see, it, it's... Like, that's what I like about these boats. You do have that extra, say, 10, 20 meters out that you can comfortably, comfortably shoot at. Whereas the heavy recurve and um, normal recurve, they're limited to basically... You can shoot over, don't get me wrong, you can shoot over, but they're basically limited to 30 and 20 meters. Um... The reason why I say that is because if you want to be accurate, right, guys, if you want to be at least on target, guaranteed, or not, not like guaranteed, but, you know, have, like, a good sight picture that you can get comfortable and shoot at constantly, that's why I like the cable back and longbow, because with the recurves, uh, you're, you're very... Uh, it's it's like a guessing game over, like, even the heavy recurve, it's a guessing game at just 30. Like, look at this. Yeah, I don't, I don't like these bows. Uh, like, normal recurve's okay at 30, because you've got the area barb on it, but... I feel, not the normal recurve, but I feel the new bow, the heavy recurve bow, is for people that like to just completely guess shoot. Like, that's basically how the bow seems to work. Um, beyond 20 meters at least, because all your shots over 20 meters, guys, will be complete guess and complete luck if you actually hit your target. You can estimate roughly how high you have to pull up, but yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. Um, let's move on to Red Feather Falls now, and I'll show you the penetration for the bows. Okay, now that we know the aiming system for the bows, let's test penetration. So I just wanted to show you the penetration with the cable back and longbow on the moose at 30 meters. Let's have a shot. Right lung heart. Nice. Right lung heart. There you go. So, I don't know why people say the recurve is more powerful than long bone cable back. Really, I think the only difference is at 50 meters out. Let's have a go at the new bow. Where is it? There we go. So let's try these at 30 meters now. Now again, the aiming system is different, so I've got to adjust here. Right lung. Let's double lung, there we go. Body hit. One lung. Wow. Ha! Huh. Well, that's funny. The cable back and longbow have the same penetration as the recurve, the normal recurve at 30 meters on a moose. I keep getting body for some reason on the recurve. I can't get double lung. Wow. There you go. So, I don't know why people say the recurve is more powerful than the cable back and long bow. Relatively speaking, the tests have shown that the recurve is on par with the long bow and the cable back, at least on a moose decoy at 30 meters. Let's have a look on the bears now. 41 meters. <sighs> Left lung liver, so double penetration. I 
Has a body to low. Double lung, there you go. Alright, let's try normal recurve. Body. One lung, I think that's all I'll get. Alright, yeah, we'll just leave it at that. So one lung on the normal recurve. So I've got to quickly go through these. I don't want it to be too lengthy of a video. But if it is, it is, guys. Cable back, longbow, here we go. Liver. So you can get penetration. Left lung, there you go. So they're the same penetration as the recurve. <laughs> it's really funny that. Yeah, there you go. Alright, I think this is the only difference from the recurve to the longbow, guys, and the cable back. This is where there's a difference. This is 50 metres out. And we're talking ridiculous range here. You should never be shooting this range with these bows anyway for that penetration to even matter. So, that's why I think... I don't know. I think I think people give too much credit to the recurves. I think they just like it because of the aiming system with it, with the uh, arrow barb. Let's have a go at this. Body here. That was perfect too, I think. You don't have to aim much out of the cable back, though. I think the cable back is actually the most, the smoothest arrow line going out of all the bows. I don't have to aim high at all with this bow. I still have sight picture of my target, which is very vital for being, like, accurate. Let's have a look at the longbow now. Body here. Body here. Yeah, so I think this is where the bows make are different. Yeah, body hit. So, you shouldn't even be shooting this far again, but, I mean, if you want to shoot that far, you're probably best with the heavy recurve. I think the normal recurve can get a lung out of this, but the heavy can get double lung. Let's have a go. Body hit. Right lung, there you go. So I got one lung out of that with the normal recurve. Let's try the heavy now. Right lung liver, so there you go. Um, so basically, the recurve, the normal recurve for that matter, you can get a single lung 50 meters out, depending on what you're shooting, of course, but on Black Bear. 50 meters, you can get a single lung. Cable back longbow, you can't. Heavy recurve, you can get double lung. 40 meters recurve, cable back longbow have the same penetration, believe it or not. And the heavy recurve bow, double lung. So, heavy recurve bow, double lung can double lung everything up to 50 meters. As for 60 meters, I don't know how I go, guys, because there is a lot of wind at the moment, unfortunately. And it is a moose target, too, so I can't really test. That's the furthest bear target. 
That one's 73. I would like a 63 meter bear, but oh well. So we'll leave it with that. Okay, before we go testing on a real life target, let's bring out all the bows that I just showed you. Here's the normal recurve. It's much more thinner looking to the heavy recurve. Very nice bow. I don't like the orange string on it though. I personally think that wrecks it. It would be nice if it was sort of the same color as the bow. Let's move on to the heavy recurve now. Very nice. I do like the look of this bow. Oh! My thumb's glitching out a bit there. I'm not sure why. Nice bow. Okay. Now let's bring out the carbon recurve. There is it. Got too many weapons to scroll through. Recurve, carbon, there we go. And I'll show you the difference between that and the normal one. Okay, and the cable back, and then we'll bring out the longbow last. So here's the cable back. Very nice bow. It is quite large, as you can see. <laughs> So I might have to actually tilt this a bit down so you can see the whole bow. But here's the arrow barb and everything like that. Very nicely made. I, I personally, I think this is the best bow for like look wise. Like without a doubt, it's just made very, very nicely compared to the others. I, I think a lot more detail went into this bow. If we go down this, there we go. Now you can see the full bow, there we go. So it is quite large, nearly as big as my player, <laughs> or my avatar, right there. And I'm sure if we placed it side by side it would be just as big as my avatar there. Alright, enough of the cable back. This is the carbon recurve now. Now the carbon recurve, notice the string, it's not orange, it doesn't stand out which is quite nice, goes really good with the bow. There's the broad head, very nice. Very cool looking bow. I do like the look of the recurves, I just don't like the aiming system with it. I wish it was changed to when it was back in single player, before multiplayer came out in this game, I think it was like 2010 or something, the aiming system was a lot different than the recurves we have now. Alright, so aim down the sights of the long bow now. Show you what this looks like. Again, a very large bow like the cable back bow. You have to zoom out quite a bit to get the full bow in. Do you like the fletching on the long bow though? Those are goose feathers, quite nice. Very nice bow. Nice and simple. And just aim down a bit. Get the full bow in. There we go. Alright, since we've had a look at all the bows, let's move on to a real life target. So here's our first victim of the heavy recurve bow. Decent L. Getting it quite close, just to make sure I get a good hit on it. There we go. There it goes, no issues at all. Run over and collect it now. I am in the full set of army outfit. Scores 329.608. So not a big elk. Pretty decent elk though, but there you go. There's my first achievement unlocked with the bow. My first kill. Just showing you again what the bow looks like. Okay, we've found our target. Male mule deer just ahead here. I'm in the trapper outfit clothing, so we'll see how this goes. I would like to get 20 meters. How far are we now? 29. Might have to aim a bit high here. Oh, smelling me. Dropped him. So he was actually trying to smell me with the trapper outfit on. I'm not sure why, but oh well. So is the thing with camo in this game, it is quite random. What do we get? Oh shit! Looks like there's another one. I have to take him out later. What do we get here? 
We just got the heart at 26 meters and 163 for a mule deer, very low one. Here's the bow again in the trapper outfit. Looks quite nice. Alright, let's see how we go on that other mule deer that called out. It should be interesting. Just sneak over. I'm not sure why the other one smelled me with the trap outfit on. It's a bit weird. Let's see if we can spot him. Still can't see him. He could have spooked. Don't know yet. Oh, no, there he is. Nice one. Very low one in weight. So, this is at 50 meters, sort of, that I was talking about, where it's just like pure guesswork. I mean, you don't really want to be shooting that far. So, we'll let him come in a bit more. It seems like comfortably. I don't know, like you can shoot 30 meters with this bow, but you do have to do some guesswork again. So, it's like 20 meters and under, where you can more or less be a bit more confident in your shot. Whereas 30, well even 25 and over, it's still completely like sort of guessing where the arrow will go. So just let him come a bit... Over more. It could be wind. To get a nice side shot here, actually. Unless he turns. And yeah, there we go. Alright, let's try again at 25. Yeah, so that seems to be the comfortable range to shoot the bow at. 20, 25 is quite good. But as for 30 and over, I'm not quite sure. Um, that way I got, I got a right long heart, 20 meters, 119.7. It scored exactly 80 in weight. <laughs> That's it for this video. Remember, if you want to see more content from me, you can always check out my Twitch channel. The link is in the description below. And as always, thanks for watching.